everyone, welcome to another video in this So You Wanna Be A Vet series. Um, today I'm gonna be talking to you about wider reading. So wider reading, what is it? Well, wider reading is just um, the process of exploring the information and the evidence that is out there to gain uh, a more in-depth knowledge of the veterinary profession, veterinary skills, um, and what is expected to, of you to become a veterinarian. So it's, it's very difficult to understand where you can start to do this um, in a way that is gonna be effective. So this is something that's always talked about. It's a really common theme of discussion in forums, in the sort of information boards about veterinary medicine. But it's something that I think a lot of people don't understand and they don't understand how it works, what it's for, and what you're supposed to get out of it. I think a lot of people just think, okay, well, I'm going to interview, I'm gonna need something to talk about. But it isn't just about that. Just like interviews and just about everything you're gonna have to do to get into veterinary medicine, it's not just about the process of doing something to check a box. It's not just about, I need work experience, I'll do it. It's not just about, I need to read um, a certain number of things to have the understanding. It's more about having a piece of information, reading it, and then critically appraising what you can get out of it, what else needs to be added to it, what evidence is missing, um, and basically just your own perspective on that piece of information. Um, veterinary medicine is really largely based around evidence um, and evidence-based medicine, which is a huge topic that you actually do end up studying in vet school. And research is a huge part of veterinary medicine in general um, because it is kind of how we drive innovation and it is how we end up, you know, advancing our knowledge and figuring out what the best and, you know, most gold standard treatment for animals is. So for wider reading, I've come up with a list that I will put here of different resources where you can get um, more information. Um, I think a key thing is to not just go to these sources and find, you know, the most popular topic or find what most people are talking about in forums. It's not about that. I think you should do some general reading and hit the main topics. So a lot of the topics that are currently being talked about is antimicrobial resistance, um, nutrition, things like feeding raw um, to pets, Welfare is always um, a big discussion point. Sustainability is becoming a big discussion point as well. Um, mental health is a pretty big thing now. And it is, I think, something that will start coming up in interviews as well because um, we do want to improve our veterinary statistics. So I think you definitely need to go to the resources, but then also read into what you're interested in because in an interview, they are trying to get an idea of who you are as an individual. And if you just meet the checkbox points and can speak about the general topics, but you haven't gotten anything from it, anything that has made you question, think, analyze, then to them, it means very little because it means that you haven't been able to go through the process and come up with new questions to drive innovation forward. So I know it does sound really difficult, especially if it's something you've never done before, but we are really, as a profession, trying to um, have a community of really analytical people and people who are gonna drive the profession forward in the future. And as you guys will be the next generation of veterinarians, we really are trying to push you further and push you into searching for questions, searching for answers, um, and keeping that cycle going, which kind of keeps the profession going. So. I hope that kind of sheds a little bit of light uh, on wider reading. It is a huge topic of discussion and there's so many things that we could go into. Um, as, as you know, we do work with Medic Mentor, um, which I'll leave more information about in the link in the description as usual. Um, and one of my other projects other than uh, So You Want to Be a Vet is that I'm working on a wider reading book, which is basically going to be a resource which includes certain headlines and topics which we think are really key. Um, and it gives a bit of information about that. It'll give you some diagrams and some more information on that. And then, um, 
you can use this guidance to build on um, those topics even more with some of the resources I've mentioned previously. So I know it can seem really challenging and really difficult, but it definitely is just about finding information and appraising it, you know, get, making your own mind about things and uh, just understanding the state of the profession at the moment and what are the key things that we're dealing with and what are your opinions on those things. So I hope you found this useful. I hope you um, enjoyed this video. As usually, leave us any questions, comments, um, anything you'd like to see uh, or anything you'd like us to discuss further in the comments. Head over to our Instagram channel at So You Want to Be a Vet to gain more uh, information and access to resources. Um, check out our podcast as well, which you know we're very proud of and we really have put a lot of time uh, and effort into developing it and we really hope you find it useful. Um, and we do discuss a lot of wider reading topics there and some of our interviews um, with students and with professionals. We definitely do go into the current topics which are being talked about in the profession. So definitely head over to our podcast to um, understand a little bit more about what we're doing in the profession at the moment. And yeah, if you have any, uh, any more suggestions for videos or anything else you want to discuss with us, head over to our Instagram again. That's where we are our most active. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.